What's up guys, welcome back to another one of our install videos, the many that we have had in a row, from Christmas, present, car part, extravaganza. We got we got one more install to do. Um, this is gonna be the, uh, the rear carbon fiber rear roof window vane spoiler that Jordan has right here. We're gonna get started on installing that. You have to do a little bit of interior tear, interior tear down just so you can get to where you're gonna be jumping through. We have marked up spots here where we think the wing looks, or the spoiler vein, whatever you wanna call it, looks nice. Insert your own word there for throughout this video. Um, and we're gonna be diving into tearing apart the interior to get to the spots to drill right through. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Some of the tools that you guys will be needing is a drill of some sort. Obviously drill bits that come with that. Luckily we have this whole set of just basically everything that you could possibly need. And then obviously I have all my tool set right here. We have tape right here kind of to mock up where we think it's going to be. We kind of lined it up before the video actually started, but we will do a precise measuring after that just to make sure that it's perfect. Right here, obviously we have the harness bar. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's at the top. Go check it out. It looks insane. So what he's doing right now is ripping apart the interior pieces because when we drill into this, we need to get to the other side to put the screw back up the high. We need to get the screw from the other side to go back up into the spoiler. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys basically an overview of the spoiler before it goes on so you guys can see pretty much all the details of what goes into this. It is slightly curved all the way across. This is full carbon fiber uh, from Japan. I have all the paperwork for it. Maybe we'll show that later. On the bottom side, there are little screw holes right there. Some of them come with dual holes. This came with a single one. So our solution to that is we're gonna use the screw. And then they gave us some pretty skinny 3M tape that'll go right around the outside of that just to seal it off. And then also we're gonna do silicone to fill the holes, make sure no water gets in. As you can see, the curvature of it right there is pretty concave and that just helps it mold right to the edge of the car. Right on top, it's obviously not flat, so right here it's going to give uh, a pretty good seal to the body of the car. And uh, just check out the carbon fiber. It looks really, really cool. Going to clean it up later and make it even more glossy than it is right now. And then the other side is just a glossy black. Now the difference between this one and the one that we have for Ryan's car, I'll show you in a minute. This one weighs like almost nothing. You can pick this up with just one hand. No, no strain at all. Now this is the one that Ryan got for his car. This is a used one, so it's not in perfect condition, but we are going to be fixing this one up. Already comes with silver, so that's pretty cool. This one has really cool fins that go across the whole thing. And then, as you can see on this one, this one has the dual holes on the bottom, and then another hole in there to keep the, uh, the painted outside connected right to the body of it. So we'll be cleaning this up, and this one actually weighs a good bit. This kind of puts some strain on my arm as I'm holding this, but this one looks pretty cool. They're both different. Both have uh, pretty much the same use, but uh, same but different. I think I love both of them just as equally. On the floor. So in the little panel that you'll be taking out there is one, two, three, four, five, six clips. So if any get lodged off like to what just happened on Ryan's side, make sure you grab those before you try and shove it back in because then it won't work. So easy piece to take out. All right, so as you guys can see, this is completely taken apart. Basically everything that I've seen is the bolt or uh, the actual drill will come out right around up in this area. Uh, the tape that we have is probably right up in here. So we'll see where the bolt actually comes out. And then that's the, uh, that's the scary part of drilling. All right, so now we're gonna make a template out of this spare cardboard that we have. Basically, this is gonna be sitting on top of the body without the wing on it, and then you drill right through wherever the hole lines up. So right now I'm gonna trace the outside, and then the opposite side I'm gonna trace the dot. Thank you. 
Here are two templates. This is the left side, this is the right side. <sighs> it's not that heavy, it's very fiber. Pretty good. So, uh, this is what we're gonna have our trust in to uh, get it right. Alright guys, so this is what we have for an outline. Kind of laying it in heat right in here. That's the spot. There we go. So that's what we're gonna use, and then we're gonna use this cardboard piece as well to help us line up. I think we're gonna probably mark on here where the screw is, right? I'm gonna poke a hole through to the actual thing once this is lined up. Yeah. All right, just to show you guys what we did. So we taped this down instead of just having me hold it, because that was sketch, and it's not good to be sketch. I'm excited if this works out for us try. That'll be amazing, and I really hope it does, because, whoo. All right, well, he's gonna send it. It's time. You want, you want any assistance over there, or you want him to just stand back here? Just. I'm just gonna watch. I'll let no, you do. You if know, you mess no, up, you mess it up. It kind of gives me uh, like anxiety with you being back there, just watching me. So come pretend you're doing something with me. So that way, if I screw up, I'm like, we I got went, your butt. We went down together. We're going in this together. Obviously, you're starting off small, so. Oh, oh. I'm kind of moving down a little bit. There's no going back now, you gotta well, go. now we don't need the template, right? Because it's, there's already a hole. I mean, I guess. It's just... I need to tighten it more. Can you unplug it? Yeah. Oh, I think it just... Oh, it's just going in? Oh, wow, that was easy. Oh, wow, that was easy. What? Well, the first hole is done. Brian, can you shine your light through there? Oh, there we go. Hold on, let me zoom in. There we go. There's a hole. And uh, you want to show them how we have to drill it out bigger because of the size of it. So this, uh, whoa, I can't see it. So the top hole there, the one right up here, is the one that's all the way through, so we're gonna have to drill it out big enough that we can fit the bolt through to the second hole on the, because this is a, a second sheet of metal. So we gotta be able to get the bolt all the way through this first piece to the second piece to drill into the, the, the vein, spoiler, whatever you call it. It's very loud in here. But we've been having a little bit of issues with the size of the bolt that is gonna be going into the wing. The original one that they gave us, because of the space of the metal that's in the car, say it's about this thick, the bolt that they gave us is about this thick. There is no way that I'm gonna put this tiny little bolt through here where it could possibly drop down into the frame of the car, basically, like the actual body, and then lose that. So what we're gonna do is mod our own um, way of doing this. So we're gonna take a longer bolt, same exact thread pitch, and then we're gonna chop this end off, pull this into, push this up into the actual spoiler, and then we're gonna have a nut on the other side to come up and lock it against the body of the car. Much easier, not really, but like, it'll be, it'll be a lot better, so. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Dad stepped in to, to help out. Unbelievable. Jordan was using some bunk I don't know, that You would have killed yourself with that. Oh. Uh -huh. That's how it's done there. Yes. That's how it's done. Top of the show. A little custom fab here. So 
well, this will be easier. how long you spent just drilling but probably two hours lots of drilling required oh, works. All right, guys, <laughs> lots of drilling required because the there's, there's two layers layer one and then you got you poke through and then you got layer two yeah whatever you guys kind of get what I'm saying and layer two is really thick so we had to do a ton of drilling to get it so that you know what I don't I don't even know how to explain it. This out, dude. dude. Quick update for y'all. It is 11.35 at night. We started, uh, we what time? Started, well, I started at four, five o'clock. What time do we get here? Four-ish. We're still here. So we're He's still doing the same thing. Same wheel. I have not progressed onto any other wheel. I'm on my same wheel. Six hours later. Six hours later. Six hours later, essentially for us, we're pretty much done. It's, it's installed. Um, Jordan's trying to clear some room right now so we can get the nut onto the stud. Literally though, this thing is, this thing's solid. Still got the 3M tape on there and it's holding her in place real nice. But honestly, once that nut's on and it's tightened down, just put the interior back together and we're done. Here with the shake test real quick, you see that? See that boys? Just, it ain't going nowhere. Oh, I can even get a little bit more. Thing too. Looks pretty good. Yep. I like the blue and black contrast. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just, it's nice. All right. It is that time of the video. Let's uh, if, if it wasn't like midnight, we would be doing a feature, but no feature for you guys today. I'm sorry. Pretty freaking, uh, let me get a, pretty beautiful. Just look at those angles, man. That wraps it up for today, guys. That's uh, that's your install video for today. Woo! Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Makes uh, all of our seven, eight hours of work worth it, and that's why we come and do this as often as we can. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if we have the link for that product, it'll be in the description below. If you're curious about Calvin and how long it's gonna take him to clean one wheel, <laughs> go check that out. It'll also be in the description below. Um, social media, always in the description below. Stick hey, hey, shut up. I Stickers. Did, yeah. If you want one of those It's Wicked stickers and we have plenty more cool stuff coming, check out the, I don't know if the one link still works, but the sticker boost link, check that out. You have to type it in exactly how the sticker looks. Lowercase I A or I T apostrophe S space, all capital Wicked, W C K D. And then the sticker will pop up for the sticker in the banner. So that's in the description below. Sorry to interrupt Ryan, but you guys see this? Any Oreo fans out there? Do you see this? Oh, hang on, hang on. Wrong with it. That's, oh! That's what it should look like there. There's no print? There's no print. Uh, look at that. Is it flipped? Nope. Try to yeah, no, off. it's. Yes, they, they have messed up. <laughs> so if you guys are, if Oreo, if you guys are watching, you messed Oreo's up. watching our videos. What are they doing? Hey, Oreo could be watching. You can just put in the tags. Oreo. Oreo. Call them out. They might be on. Call them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're gonna catch you next time. Um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out. 
Stay wicked.